Comcast. I've been trying to get someone on the phone for weeks. Oddly, here we have a veteran that can't seem to get his health benefits who ends up robbing a bank. And just a few months later, we will get breaking with John Boyega playing a veteran that can't seem to get his health benefits who ends up robbing a bank. Maybe we should just pay our veterans their health benefits, no? What's your name, man? Supervisor 12. <laughs> That's funny. I, you know, I, I talked to uh, the supervisor 11 and 13. I've never worked at a call center, but I'm almost certain this is some bullshit. There's no way these agents are told to present themselves as Supervisor 1, 2, 3, etc. And if it is true, Morpheus here should immediately realize we're in the Matrix and break us all out. I can't get a human on the phone, okay? It's always recordings and numbers to push for what I want. This old man yells at phone routine is, I think, supposed to make us feel better about Will holding people at gunpoint for 32 million and spending the next two hours killing a small percentage of the LA populace through GTA and RTAs. We got it, baby. Insurance coming through. How can she believe this? We just saw that she was in the next room, right? And this. It's funny, I risked my life for this country. And is a strange way to celebrate securing an experimental surgery for your wife's cancer. Forklift driver. That's good, baby. You can drive anything. Including the plot. Two minutes out, en route. He said en route instead of en route. And I'm going to sit him for it, even though I'm an American who should have built-in forgiveness for Americanized pronunciations. But today I am feeling vigilant. Check off splenectomy clamp. Be advised child impaled, critical condition. Does it always sound that bad? When it's involving a child and impalement, yes. Yes, I believe it does. No matter what, stay focused. My college girlfriend gave me the same advice during sex and it did not help even one bit. Deep breath, deep breath. Uh. Measuring the breathing of a little girl who has a projectile sticking through her abdomen by slapping a stethoscope outside said girl's clothing. And if this works, then why does my doctor always make me change into a paper gown or lift my shirt when he wants to check my breathing? Can you be brave? Can you do that? I could be brave, yeah. Okay, I knew you could've. I bet most DMTs would kill to have a quick and instructive interaction with a small child where everything was understood and simple like this. Instead, I'm thinking most real life EMTs say, can you be brave? And in response, they receive, ah, 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 ah. You're not supposed to be in here. Shouldn't you tell that to the asshole who let him in? Rich people don't like you when you envy their shit. It makes them feel guilty. Goddamn, Jakey G is having so much fun. Between this movie, Nightcrawler, and Okja, I'd say he's having more fun than almost anyone in Hollywood. Let me make you coffee. I have one of those Keurig things. <laughs> that is not coffee. He sips an empty cup and... It's good coffee. Huh? This whole movie is going to be this pantomime shit, isn't it? You can definitely uh, tell me to go F off. Censoring your effing swears. But uh, I could use some help. The odds of the stepbrother asking for help on the day of a big ass heist are... Let me just do the math here for a second. Oh my, my calculator has caught fire. Experimental surgery. Except insurance doesn't cover experimental because they tell me it's experimental. Could you explain that again? I'm not entirely clear if this is a regular surgery or something experimental. Oh, you told me you were done. I was then, but this is now. Me and my wife having our monthly conversation about bacon. I can't do this with Mel Gibson. I can't do it. Is the answer what reason did Danny Glover give for not doing Lethal Weapon 5? We're not cowboys. We're not shooting anything up. This is my job. I am fucking dizzy. Seriously, think about the last time you had a heated discussion with someone. Did you continually walk in circles around each other? Look, we got five minutes, and I need to know whether you're in or you're out. I mean, the answer is 100% I am out, right? Will has no idea what the plan is, other than we're taking 32 million from a bank and we need you to be our Uber. I know the stakes are high, but Danny has given him no reason to think this is a good idea. You're my brother. I love you. I will do anything for you. Yeah, but do you mean anything like, here's 231,000 to help your wife with her cancer treatment, anything? Or I'm going to guilt you into risking your life and then give you the means to save your wife anything because it feels like the latter and now you're here on my doorstep asking me for help and what am i giving you i am giving you the world well it actually sounds like you're giving him a pretty heavy ultimatum with a high chance of going to jail but i guess we all have our own definitions for the world it's time for you to do something for yourself for your family holy toxic brotherhood batman really drinking a beer on the job Zero alcohol, dude. She said product placement dude strangely. Also, drinking non-alcoholic beer with your lunch. You pick him up, drop him, forget it. The worst day of their lives is just your Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> Did she just f***ing quote Raul Julia's character from Street Fighter? Did that seriously just f***ing happen? You're the best paramedic in town. You can keep anyone alive for 20, 20 minutes. minutes. And no one wants to be your partner. What's going on here with this statement? Los Angeles is entirely too big for any one paramedic to be the best in town. Second, you can keep anyone alive for 20 minutes is disrespectful to victims of decapitation. Third, no one wants to be your partner is hilarious. She's a certified fox. Even guys who believe the bullshit rumors about her would give it a shot because she's a certified fox. Does the movie even understand men? You remember when Sean Connery said, losers wine, winners get the f 
the prom queen. Holding up Sean Connery is a bastion of romantic interactions. Also, I always thought that Peak Bay might be something like a nuclear explosion launching the whole North American continent into space where it lands on the moon only to find that the moon itself is a nuke which then explodes and blasts them back to Earth, allowing Will Smith or Bruce Willis to get to their kid's basketball game on time. In fact, we hit it just now when he decided to break my brain and quote one of his own movies in his own movie suggesting that Michael Bay exists in this universe and none of this matters because he's likely making that first movie I just mentioned as we speak. Who wears burger socks to, to a bank robbery, Trent? I think that's exclusively reserved for movie douchebags who are going for a memorable and humorous affectation but land squarely in a stupid and distracting thing that doesn't make any sense if you share even 1% of your genetic code with an actual human. Also, in case the footwear didn't clue us in, the director made sure he was equipped with an apple-flavored lollipop so we knew Trent was an asshole. You okay? Okay. You don't f***ing look okay to me, Danny. Moments like this are why this movie is 136 minutes long. See, it's funny because she wasn't part of the plan and has no idea that these guys are bank robbers. I got an idea. We go in together like bad boys. Off to the power of a thousand. You wait, Nitro, you hear me? You wait. See, it's funny because the dog is too big for the car. I think driving without this giant dog being in a harness or otherwise restrained is a dangerous thing to do. If I could just get it done real quick because I'm on the clock, uh, Promise not to rob the place. See, it's funny because he's talking to the guy that's actually robbing the look. It's probably clear by now that I don't think the jokes in this movie are sticking with landing. All okay, right, come on. Right. <laughs> okay. He's letting him in. He's letting him f***ing in. Cop is clearly in the wrong here. So why did Danny give in? What could the possible upside be here? He joins the crew so Will can go home? The woman next to him help me out over there. Uh, I think her name is... Kim. People, this might seem cute and romantic, but it is not. Repeatedly going to a person's place of work because you know that's where they'll be is creepy as sh**. Could you just tell me her last name? I just want to be thorough. Uh, last name. Danny might have actually got away with this if it wasn't for the power of Boner's ability to warp the fabric of reality and force this cop to ask a question no customer would usually need to ask. God, this Truck. Maybe don't do heists with unreliable trucks, eh? I got him in front. Should I f***ing kill him? Should I run him over? This guy went straight to public murder of an officer the second a cop threw a wrench into the plan. Most of the robbers wear a mask or face covering except Jake. Why aren't Jake and the other maskless robbers concerned about eyewitness reports or sketch artists or f***ing video cameras? The cop was about to fire on the robbers inside the bank, so the driver outside crashes the getaway vehicle into the cop car? You already had trouble starting this thing, man. Maybe let the robbers with machine guns inside fire back to defend themselves. Rendezvous! I'm glad Michael Bay got some rad drone shots in this movie, but I wish he'd let just one of them remain on screen for more than two seconds. I wanted to see this shot drop all the way down to this dude, but we go halvesies and go back to traditional filmmaking. Wrong door! Oh, and the getaway driver who brought the untrustworthy truck also parked outside the wrong door. This heist would have been planned better by sixth graders. Everything about the planning of this heist seems shoddy. Falls apart multiple times and ways. And I realize it has to fall apart for the movie to happen, but it would have been nice if they'd written a really smart, cool heist that goes wrong for a fluke reason instead of the dumbest heist imaginable that goes wrong 14 different ways. <laughs> did he just, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, but why the f did he just plow into his buddy? I thought we were supposed to be impressed with Danny's heisting abilities, but he's put together a team that the Looney Tunes would balk at collaborating with. Man, these cop cars sure did graduate from the Michael Bay school of cinematically arriving at crime scenes as if it's the f***ing ice capades, didn't they? Why are these girls choosing to cross this road right now? Look how this looks! Just take one second in your mind to see how this looks. What the f*** do you mean, how this looks? This looks like you just shot a cop after trying to rob a bank because that's exactly what it f***ing is. Does Danny think it'll look any better if they leave? Man, they're everywhere! If only you'd spend as much time planning this heist as you spent recruiting your brother for it. <laughs> The problem here is that you did mean to shoot because the cop was threatening your brother. You regret shooting. That's what you meant to say. Or maybe I shot on instinct, I guess, but you 100% meant to shoot. Now he's masking up. He hasn't worn a mask this entire time. So why is he okay with doing time for a bank robbery, but not okay with doing time for shooting at cops? Tell me this is not the plan. Could someone, anyone tell me what any of the plans were meant to be? Because this doesn't resemble anything close to a plan. Unless that plan was to pull off the dumbest f***ing heist imaginable and Ocean's 12 already has that crown. For now. You hear me, Zach? 
God damn it, I'm adding 10 sins here and now for Bay using rad f***ing drone shots, but cutting them short every f***ing single time, because he probably just can't admit that a drone can immerse us in the action even better than his patented techniques. You're locking this place down. Do you think? It's my fault. I had him going for a girl. Yep. Totally your fault. Assuming it's revealed later that Officer Mark was in on the heist, and or he knew that Zack would get shot in the leg by a man who wasn't supposed to even be there. <laughs> of course, they bump into the ambulance that's carrying the man they just shot. Why the f*** not? Why did they even keep her or the patient on this ambulance? They had time to ditch both, but the movie needs the weird tension, so... I'm gonna get you back home, little brother. I'm gonna get everybody home. Nice sentiment, but I think the ship carrying the everybody part of that platitude has set sail. Given Mr. Birkin sh scurvy and stranded the rest of the crew on not getting f***ing home island. Look at the amount of white fire extinguisher residue that's on his face right here. And now look at how much there is on the very next close-up of him. It's clear I'm not a priority. That's not true. Not a fan of using therapy as a punchline, even less if you include a goddamn magic eight ball in the proceedings. People still rob banks. Kyle, do we have to pay for the dumb questions or, or are these ones free of charge? Agent Clark would be excellent, but also a dick at therapy sense. Strategy. Kind of like a mix between a chess match and a cage fight. That is gibberish of the highest order, sir. We are not throwing down spike strips. We are not crashing into this ambulance. We got a brother cop on board. Because you and I both know that if it was a civilian in there, we'd just f*** him up real good. Hoorah! Quiet, I need a quiet. You need quiet in order to drive well? How the f*** do you ever drive anywhere? This is f***ing Los Angeles. Quiet does not exist in this dojo! Holy shit, he did it! They let two consecutive drone shots linger on screen! I'll take us in off. I can't do this alone, I need more hands in this! There's no fucking way you should be doing it at all after that 180 turn Will just pulled off. You should be the one in need of an EMT after that shit. You're gonna have a cop dead any minute now and you're going to prison for the rest of your fucking life. He's going to prison for the rest of his life whether this particular cop dies or not. I wish I didn't have herpes, but... You know, we all gotta go with what we got. But you weren't born with herpes, I'm guessing. You acquired that through a less than thoroughly vetted sexual experience. You took an action that led to the herpes. This guy just got shot with none of his own doing. Actually, it's your fault that he got shot. So this is a terrible analogy. It's f***ing maddening that the entirety of the LAPD cannot stop or catch a single ambulance they know the exact location of. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. You're not listening to my directions. What Directions. You were in the back helping keep the cop alive. Your ass just got here. Units responding. Use a dead end street. Slow down. <laughs> really? What a strange way to decide you don't want to live on this planet anymore. I need a diversion. I'm kind of in a deal making mood. You didn't call this magic man before now? All right. Start boxing them in. Start? Start boxing them in? The f have you been doing? It's almost rush hour. We gotta wrap this up or a lot of innocent people are gonna be in danger. Like those two girls who crossed the road during the bank shootout? FBI database, facial wreck, has a Danny Shark. Easily avoidable if he'd been wearing a mask! Hey, what's up? What's happening? How is the partner of the kidnapped officer still even on duty? How has he not been stood down and sent to counseling? He passes a bus only for the next shot to not even contain a bus at all. Who brought my f***ing dog? On a police chase! Pull back, everybody, pull back! Yep, Danny and Will get saved because a rogue cop takes the one car that happens to have Monroe's dog in it. Why not just have Thor turn up and shout, It's the woman time! If we're relying on such dumbassery to prolong, I mean, progress the plot. You shot a cop. An LAPD cop. Super correct right here. Step Bro is not innocent in all this mess. The best EMT in the city in Los Angeles has worked on this guy for over an hour, but only just now figures out he has a previously unknown gunshot wound. And that should knock her down the best EMT ranks at least 30 or 40 notches. He is looking for a way out. How do you know that? We used to be friends. God damn it, this movie doesn't need to be this complicated. She calls an ex-boyfriend who was a surgeon and he patches her through to some real surgeons and have you ever tried calling a surgeon that is on the golf course? You might as well try calling the Pope or Tom Cruise. Ambulance joins the elite group of movies that make it seem easy for the passenger and driver of a vehicle to trade places. It's wild she can hold up her laptop like this to get surgery advice from the golf course doctors while I struggle to get a signal inside my local Wendy's. This chase has gone on so long that I think it's worth asking how many of these vehicles have gasoline left. Poke a hole in the skin, then take the scissors and you need to open him up. This is not instructional surgery. This is vague shit literally anyone could say. Then you and your criminal friend right there. Sir, you are providing instructions on how to open a person and remove a bullet from their spleen. This is not the time for your sarcastic jabs. Movie felt the need to show us this. 
You're just nervous. My wife, she gets nervous all the time. You know what we do? We breathe. I know Will is trying to be helpful, but there is a chasm of difference between performance anxiety and improvising a surgery in the back of a moving ambulance when you're not a surgeon. He's fully awake! Oh my god, this is insane. These surgeons have become spectators. We are trying to save you. Oh. Go to sleep! That worked. Yeah, what she said. This looks like nighttime. Everybody's got headlights on. Is this movie f***ing with us? I gotta clear my hair. I gotta clear my hair. No, she's not. She isn't. I mean, there's no f***ing way she's... God damn, she is. She's using a butterfly clip to clamp a spleen. We are officially in fantasy land, and I look forward to Gandalf's arrival at first dawn on the fifth day of the chase to end it all. Did it work? It's tough to underestimate the weight of that sentence. To summarize, they just saved the life of a man who has been bleeding out from an unseen bullet wound for six hours by performing an unplanned and improvised splenectomy with surgical training via Zoom call, which cut off at a critical point, by the way, all with no anesthesia in the back of a moving ambulance. Oh, and her used butterfly clip is currently holding said human's insides together. Did I get that right, Michael? I made it to my third year of residency. I got addicted to speed. Sure, it's a great movie, but I can't imagine dropping out of med school for it. You can do anything. You can do anything. He cannot. He knows where he's going. Must be a vet. Because he swerved after being shot at? Isn't that a bit of a leap? Puppies guys are setting diversion for us at four heights. Everyone is a f***ing time traveler in this movie. How did she manage to write that before he said it? You got any of that freaking Cheeto dust in my hair? I swear. Why would he be touching your hair? This is the weirdest sh to say. This is my wife. Hey, babe. Wait, is he actually FaceTiming his wife? How does she not realize that he's not in a f***ing forklift? And if he isn't sharing his video, why doesn't she think that's suspicious? Hey, vampire princess, are you done? Are you done sucking the life out of every person in this ambulance? Okay, Will's wife totally heard that, right? Because there's no f***ing way she didn't hear that. Will you just stay out of the water? I'm driving through the f***ing LA River. There's water everywhere. <laughs> but not really. Danny magically goes from leaning out the side door of the ambulance to leaning out the passenger window between shots. We can't play it, but we have a solid California dreaming playing in a movie set in California cliche. I didn't sign up for this. How is this where you decide to drop the I didn't sign up for this bombshell and not 20 minutes ago when you literally had your hands inside another human's torso? Great driving, man. Looks like you're having fun now. Why is he having fun? Isn't he completely screwed even if they do get away? They know about his wife and kids, so does he really expect to be allowed to pay for the cancer surgery with money they know he stole from the bank? Wasn't he f***ed the second they figured out who he is? Muckaway. Police Cessna's watching him under a bridge. We're gonna let him relax, then we're gonna close the net. But why are you letting them relax? You know this has been their destination for f***ing ever at this point, so why don't you already have cops there? Earlier Monroe said that setting traps criminals can't escape from is his specialty. So for what reason is he blowing his biggest advantage other than the movie needs him to? It's your time, you can walk. I'm not leaving you, man. I get it, blood is thicker than water. It's not like you have any other blood relatives that are depending on you. Like a f***ing son! You got 45 seconds. You told him that exact thing like 45 seconds ago, dude. <laughs> Yay, explosions and shit. But the distraction is done, right? Why risk the fallout and shit that comes with blowing up a ton of cops? This is the partner of the kidnapped cop, but didn't the boss just tell him to get the dog out of here a few minutes ago? That pissed me off. Get him out of here. What is that? It's Roberto. Holy shit! They showed that on TV? No f***ing way did they just show that on TV. Yes, 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 yes! Hey, we made it! Premature cell celebration. We're not the bad guys. <laughs> I'm not leaving them. <laughs> Strong choice. Garnoles. Will refuses to leave Cam and Zach behind, and Poppy's reaction to this is to surround him with guns, and then wait, wait, wait. And wait some more until Danny has a chance to catch them all off guard and murder everyone. Feels like a f***ing dumb plan to me, but then again, f***ing dumb plans on how not to execute them could have been the title of the whole damn movie. They knew where they were, had the place surrounded with cops and helicopters, and still let these assholes escape. Got their asses now. Right, this is super different from the rest of the day when you've been chasing them. Is this supposed to be a hospital? Guess it's possible, but it looks more like a condo building with CGI'd MHLA on the side. Why are there a bunch of RVs in the parking lot beside it? Are these outdoor stairwells on the lift? Where is the helicopter? Pad. You okay? I'm trying. I'm trying everything I can. Everything other than using the resources of the hospital 20 feet away? What was the point of getting the ambulance to the hospital if you're just gonna sit in the parking lot and not get any help? What the hell is this creeping through the grass POV shot? Is a squirrel watching all this? Here we see Danny fall on his side back, eyes closed, screaming in agony, and then immediately cut to a shot of Danny face down on the ground, eyes open, mouth closed, contemplating sh 
It's like Bay doesn't even care because he knows there are so many edits in the movie already that only a nitpicking c**er like CinemaSins would even notice. Criminals are still entitled to health care, right? So why isn't anybody helping them? Why have they just decided, well, I guess these two are dead. Enchiladas, anyone? Wait, when did they pick his wife up? Uh, why would they be driving her to an active crime scene? This got resolved less than two minutes ago, so she must have already been on the way here. That's f***ed up. Hello? Amy doesn't say, please don't touch my baby with hands currently soaked in the blood of his dying father. She stashes a huge bundle of cash in the baby carrier and no one notices. Stop touching children with your unwashed bloody f***ing hands. She's walking away into the night right now and I'm 100% positive the police need to question her for probably several days about what happened. She's not just walking off into the sunset here. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. This is real life, okay? This is real life. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel. You're gonna be okay! Say the goddamn words! You're gonna be okay! What? No banks hold 32 million. We'll see some spillover into a fifth truck. Mother's Day. The mother of all mail days. <laughs> I feel like grabbing you by your ears right now and screaming in your face, I'm not interested. Scott, I'm gonna give you some advice. The day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. You remember when Sean Connery said, losers wine, winners get the f the prom queen? Hmm? What do you say we cut the chit chat a-hole? I would like to extend to you an invitation to the pants party. Finally, I have a chance to run my own unit. What kind of unit? Suck my unit. Jesus, Joseph, and doggy style, Mary. <laughs> that is a pile of dog sh**. Sir, the recruit's never been good at drawing, sir. Danny's been robbing banks since he was 17. He speaks a dozen languages, knows every local custom. He'll blend in, disappear. You'll never see him again. What I want out of each and every one of you is a hard target search. 